So in today's episode of Monbazul, the performance update is out and folks, there are a ton of new parts for the car and we are going to finally do that engine upgrade and we're going to try to beat the drag strip challenge and win the race car. So be sure to hit that thumbs up button and let's jump in. Okay, cheese curds are loaded up. Let's go ahead and chop some potatoes in there. Folks, I'm so excited. We've got a ton of parts to go buy today. Uh, I'm a little nervous that I don't have enough money, but this is going to be fine. So let's go ahead and cut this in there. Let's get this cooking. So yeah, the uh, performance update is out. We should be able to buy the new engine today. Plus, there is supposedly a ton of new parts at the shop. And I think the van guy also is going to have new parts. We probably won't see him this episode. But we are going to get the new engine. That way we can complete the drag race and finally unlock the race car at the racetrack. All right. Well, oh, that only made one poutine. This is fine. Well, we've got a little bit of poutine. Uh, because we're going to be working in the garage a lot today. Got some maple syrup, too. Also, uh, look, Santa Goat left a, a happy Valentine's Day thing. Does this have money in it? Can I eat this? Oh, I can't eat it. But yeah, Santa Goat is the uh, the creator, by the way. Uh, Santa Goat, you're doing a great job. So, yeah, one more thing they added in the update. You've got a scale, which this is fun. Uh, oh, yeah, okay. So, I think the scale might actually be for, like, parts. Oh, we got the differential here. Can I throw this on here? Is this... Oh, it does weigh it. So yeah, weight actually has an effect on the cars now. So if we could delete the seats in there, that would be great. I don't know if that's a thing yet. Like at least delete the passenger seat. Uh, that way we can uh, shed a little weight. Uh, we can be a little bit faster in the drag race. But yeah, that's the thing. And then you've got this new shelf in here uh, for some additional storage. So you know what? Without further ado, let's go ahead and get into our car. We're going to head into town. Also, you can see they stripped the cover off the steering wheel here. So I'm assuming you can get new steering wheels also. Okay, let's back this bad boy up. You know, we have to paint this thing again because it's gonna be a full-blown race car. Uh, wait, can we put a roll cage in here? Is that an option? I don't know if that is or isn't yet. Uh, we only have like $7,400. So I'm hoping uh, this is enough to cover it. Uh, I'm a little nervous. I at least wanna get the engine for sure. Also, we probably should have taken the truck because I mean, I guess we can fit the stuff back there. This is, might be a bit of an issue. It's fine. Also, I'm kind of curious if maybe uh, Santa Goat added maybe a couple other things. It uh, seems like the last update, some of the uh, stuff wasn't even in the patch notes. And there's like some extra things. So I'm kind of curious about that. Also, Van Guy comes on Friday, I think. Uh, he also comes another day. It might be like Wednesday or something. He's not there, is he? Uh, Van Guy, no. All right, well, let's at least get to the store real quick and we can see what they have. All right, I'm excited. What do you got in here? And oh, I could already see new stuff. What the heck? Okay, so you have, oh, there's the engine. Oh, yes, we can afford it. It's uh, $4,900. That's not bad. Does that just go in there or do we have to like carry it out? Uh, so we have that. <gasps> Oh, that is awesome. You got different like mufflers you could stick on there. Oh, that looks pretty awesome. Uh, oh, there's the exhaust. So it's a performance exhaust. We have, oh, there's a racing seat. Uh, we got that. You have a uh, ABS module. Uh, looks like we have some shocks. So that's the original, uh, I guess that's the manufacturer shocks. And then here's sport shocks here. Wait, so would you only put two shocks in or all four? There's four shocks on a car. I mean, if it doesn't have shocks, <laughs> wouldn't that be a really rough ride? Hold on, what else do we have? So we have new tires. Oh, there's a sport tire now. Uh, over here, what is this? <gasps> underglow. See, if you add underglow to your race car, it instantly adds like 50 horsepower. It's guaranteed. Uh, what else do we have? Sway bars. There's the steering wheels. Uh, there's the strut bars. Okay, there's a lot here. For sure, we need this. So <laughs> we're just going to stuff an engine in the car. Uh, does this fit? Uh, whoa! So, there you go. That's actually, uh, really good there. You could see the, uh, the weight. See when I lift it? The shocks or the, the springs go up. Everything goes up. So, if I drop this, suspension actually goes down and bobbles. So, weight is definitely a thing. Like, this is becoming a full-blown car simulator. Okay, so I've got $2,500. Uh, I think the performance exhaust is definitely gonna be a thing. Uh, how do I get this in the car? Um, yeah, might have to drive with the door open. It's fine. 
All right, so we got performance exhaust. Uh, we need to get some sort of exhaust uh, or a muffler here. Uh, is there an option just to like straight pipe it, not do the muffler? Oh, that one's like a little hard. I don't know. I like this one down here. It looks ridiculous. So we're definitely gonna have to have that out the back. Okay, so we're gonna toss that in. Uh, but yeah, like I said, this isn't the only place to get parts. I'm kind of curious. I heard there's nitrous in the game and obviously the guy at the shop here doesn't have it. So I'm assuming it's Van Guy that's got the nitrous kit, which <laughs> do we really need that much speed? I think we do. All right, I want the steering wheel. We gotta make this thing look cool on the inside. Uh, so let's stick that in there. We got still $2,100. We got a lot of money here. Uh, we can go ahead and do the, uh, let's do the little sport shocks here. Uh, we'll throw those in, give it a little bit better ride. I'd like to get the seat, but I don't think I can fit the seat in here. I mean, we can pop the trunk and see if it'll just rest in there. Uh, that could be a thing. There are so many performance parts. There's the ABS module. I mean, we could probably, I guess, buy that too. I want this seat. The seat looks cool. Oh, it folded up a little bit. Okay. Is this seat really that much different? It, it actually doesn't look a ton different, but I'm assuming since there's only a driver's seat here or one seat that you can uh, get rid of the other one. Oh, how's this going to work? Eh. Oh. Okay, that officially doesn't really fit. Um, this is fine. Okay, gotta buy that underglow for sure. That's gonna be a thing. So, I know a little bit about cars, but I'm not really sure. Like, you got the sway bars. What is a strut bar? What would this be used for? Is this like an advantage of buying one of these? Like, is it gonna be good for the, uh, for the track? Uh, also, we should totally get sport tires. That way we can hook up a little bit better. Uh, I mean, <sighs> yeah, that would basically do all the budget, but I feel like sport tires are definitely a big thing. We can actually install them here. Do you have a spanner here? Can we just work at a shop? Like, I feel like that should be a part of like one. Wait, what the heck? What's this? Wait, why is there a bus steering wheel here? Huh? Is that upcoming hints for an update or something? Or you just want to put a bus wheel on your race car? I don't know. Like, I feel like there should be an option like to maybe open up one of these garage doors and maybe you can like rent out or use his shop. Uh, because I could buy the spanner here and I could just do the work here. Like, I'm gonna get some coffee and we ain't even going home. <laughs> like, it's pointless. Let's just go ahead and do the work right here at the shop. We'll get coffee. Uh, poutine's just across the street. He's probably wondering, it's like, really? Are you gonna make my uh, my little gas station here a, a mechanic shop? And I'm like, yes. Uh, so here, let's buy. Uh oh. That's gonna be an issue. Um, I can't. It costs money to change the tires here. It's like 15, and if I buy all these at 300, uh, that's $1,200. I'm not gonna have enough to change the tires. Okay, sport tires will come. We'll do those uh, here eventually. Maybe next episode, once we uh, get to the van guy. Uh, but this should be enough to at least finish the drag race, and then I'll make some more money. You know, I can feel it right now. There's probably somebody screaming at their computer like, why? Why would you choose not to put the tires on there? You know what? It's fine. It's my game. I'm doing it. Also, I'm drinking your maple syrup here. So, if I leave the parts here, like the old engine, like, can I come back and get this? Like, all my other stuff that I left here is still here. So, I think if I lay the engine and stuff over here to the side, uh, it'll be perfectly fine and I can come put it in the garage. Like, I wonder if at one point we're gonna get the option to sell stuff. Say like some of the parts that we don't need. Uh, that'd be kind of cool. Okay, oh. Okay, this looks a little bit different. So there's the ABS module right there. Uh, so we have to unhook a lot of the stuff that we've done, which is kind of unfortunate. But yeah, we can do this. This isn't too bad. There's a whole lot more screws here. So to get those springs on, we'd have to, or the shocks, we'd have to undo these. Uh, we can do that here in a bit. Let's take care of the engine. That's the big thing. And we can... Oh, you know what? We're not going to be able to get under this, are we? I don't know. We'll have to see. I, I think I can maybe finagle my way under this uh, by moving around kind of weird. Uh, there's a chance this is a big mistake. Uh, <laughs> you know, the more I think about this, the more I'm like, Komodo, just go home. Just go home and do it there. Okay, this looks really unsafe. Uh, I feel like I need to hold on to the the uh the exhaust once we get going here okay crank up oh why did the door just shut uh <laughs> we're surrounded by parts right now this is bad okay uh just go forward all right just ease it okay i'm gonna grab this 
Also, I noticed my ABS light is on, so I guess the uh, the module on the car is bad now, which I don't even think that was a part at first. Uh, okay, I think we got everything. I was looking around, make sure nothing fell out. No, this is perfectly safe. I know what I'm doing. Okay, here we go. This is the HQ for like the next probably full like in-game day. Uh, okay, chunk that out there. All right, this is safe. Uh, the exhaust might be freaking out. Okay, turn that off there. Uh, chunk the engine out. Uh, okay, well, I think everything survived the ride. Uh, Steph's moving around a lot here. Oh, geez. Okay, put that over there. Okay, I think we're safe. So, we got an additional spanner here because I thought I was going to put all that stuff together at the shop. Uh, but yeah, uh, let's go ahead and pop this. So, I got to take off the aftermarket parts that I put on. Uh, so, you've got the, like, the manifold and the intake here. And then we're going to change the engine. Uh, is there an alternator on that? I don't know. So, looking at the... Okay, there is an alternator on the new engine. I just, for some reason, noticed that. I was like, uh, is that even a part that I can buy? So, I actually think it's good I didn't buy uh, the tires. Because, you know, I think I saw a picture on the Discord. Uh, which, by the way, there is a Discord for this game. Uh, very helpful. And I saw that what appeared to be, uh, I think, drag slicks. Which I think it would be the van guy that would sell those. At least that's what I'm hoping. Uh, okay, so let's keep unscrewing all this. Uh, we got a bit of work to do here today, folks. Okay, I think we're ready to start breaking some pieces off here. So, oh, there goes that. Oh, the whole engine just fell out. Okay, so this is the old and busted. We'll just stick this over here. We'll just stick it in the corner. There we go. All right, and then we are ready to stick the upgraded motor in. Everything else just fell off, uh, which is fine. I think I've got everything loose in there. The only thing I left intact was the suspension pieces and like the sway bar and stuff. Uh, so we're good there. Um, here, we'll put this over here. Uh, wait, where's our new engine? Uh, oh, about that, I could have swear I tossed it out. Oh, you know, one more thing I forgot was the ABS module. Hold on, let's unscrew that. I feel like that's easily accessible now. Uh, will that come off? Oh, wait, what? What? Wait, what's happening here? Oh, there it goes. Okay, so we'll throw that in the chunk pile. Uh, this stuff's still in the back, right? Okay, ABS module is on. There we go. So, I guess our brakes aren't going to kill us now, which is nice. Uh, put that back into there. All right, we're going to install that, and then the engine's going to get lowered down. And then we'll have to reconnect, like, the uh, transmission and stuff, which is going to be uh, a treat because it's a lot of bolts. Okay, boom. Up. Oh, there it goes. All right, new engine's in. You can see how it weighed down the front of the car. So, I think I'm going to put, since the heavier end of the car is in the front... I think we're going to replace and put the uh, sport shocks on here for now. And then if we can get another set, we'll stick them on the rears. But I think, uh, plus, I think, is this a front wheel or all wheel drive car? I don't even know. That's a good question. I don't think it's a rear wheel, but I could be completely wrong. All right, well, that's in. Let's go ahead and start bolting on the uh, pieces. Okay, let's see if we can get this uh, performance exhaust on real quick. So let's go under the car. Oh, there it goes. All right, so we click that in. So they have uh, what looks like new mounting points for the exhaust. Uh, oh, oh, where's my spanner? There it is. So, yeah, we'll use those. I got everything else back on. The transmission's on right now. Uh, wait, okay, the old exhaust is under here. Getting a little lost under here, but there we go. All right, so we're going to mount the exhaust in. And then the muffler, uh, I've already taken it off in the back. Also, I did see you can delete the seats. So we'll get rid of the uh, passenger seat. And we'll put the new race seat in there. Uh, that way it sheds a little bit of weight in the car. Okay, here's our new exhaust. How ridiculous does it look? Oh, it looks pretty ridiculous hanging out the back. I like it. I like it a lot. I wonder, is it going to change the sound? Uh, I really hope it does. Hold on, I think I can find the mounting points for this. There it goes. We'll mount one there. I still have to go do the manifold, too, and get it back on. And then we'll move to suspension components. But uh, I'm really happy with what we've done so far. This is awesome. I love this update. Okay, I think engine upgrades are good. As you can see, everything's assembled. So we're going to call it a night here. I will come back out and... Wait, do I not have headlights anymore? Oh, I do. It kind of looked like I didn't there for a second. So in the morning, we'll do the seat delete. Uh, we'll paint and we'll put the new shocks on. And oh yeah, underglow. And then we'll be ready to go out to the racetrack. I'm excited. All right, let's go to sleep. So in working in the car, I just realized you can totally take the doors off now. Uh, that's a thing. I mean... Talk about extreme uh, shedding of weight. I'm not sure taking the doors off. Now, taking the hood off might be kind of cool. Uh, but yeah, the doors, no, we're not going to do that. Uh, the hood might be a thing for even just the drag race, just to have that 
a uh, little weight reduction there. Okay, so take that out. Uh, okay, so why is it showing me this bolt? Okay, that one's good. I'm gonna see if you can change the shock without taking the tire off. Like, I took one tire off just to see. I'm kind of curious if we could rip this out of there. I haven't seen the bottom of the shock, so there's a potential you can't. Uh, I don't want to have to take everything off. That's the, the one problem I'm facing here because I'm lazy. Uh, what does the bottom look like? Oh, there might be just a bolt in here. So I can't confirm. I can't seem to get it out. Hold on, maybe the center uh, being out. Let's take this one out here. Boom. Will it come out now? Nope. I think the whole thing has to come off, unfortunately. So it's going to be just a little bit more work for us. Uh, like I said, folks, sometimes I get a little lazy and I just want to like get through with it. This is fine. I'll just take the whole thing apart. It's going to be worth it, though. Uh, having those uh, new shocks in there is going to help with the ride a ton. Okay, that one is out, old, and rusted. I'm sure the back ones are rusted, so even just replacing it with the original manufacturer thing would probably be okay. Okay, so those are good there, and then we are going to go ahead and install these. Nice. Okay, all of that is installed. We are almost there, folks. All right, close that. Let's go ahead and get into here. Uh, get into the seat, please. Oh, I guess I can't have, in the, have it active. Okay, so we want to take the steering wheel off. Uh, that's a real easy one. So let's do that. Chunk that over there. Oh, should have chunked that a different way. Uh, can I take the seat off from here? I think I have to actually get out for that. So yeah, we want to get both of the seats out real quick. Okay, here comes the seat. Uh, right? No? Maybe? There it is. All right, so that's the original seat on that side removed. And let's remove this one. Oh. That seems to pop out really weird. There it goes. <laughs> Steering wheel just fell off. That's okay. Let's grab that. Chunk that over there. Nice. Okay, so here's the new comfy seat. I hope there's a race seat somewhere. It's like a nice bucket seat. I'd like to see that. Okay, putting on the new steering wheel. Grab the spanner real quick. It scares me. There's some bolts still on the ground that I'm hoping aren't like missing from important uh, places. <laughs> this is fine. All right, so we're going to do that. So let's go ahead. Oh, man, this looks cool in here. Let's grab that underglow real quick. Might be a little tricky to grab. So how does this work? Where do I install this? Should I have bought multiple kits? Uh, it looks like a dash piece. Uh, that is a good question. I might have to look this up. I'm going to try to just like graze it over. Like I can't use it. Uh, like a traditional thing. So I'm assuming it goes somewhere. Uh, can I do this? I want underglow, please. Okay, it's got to go here in the car, Han. Where do you go? It looks like a dash piece. Oh, wait, what the? Wait, oh, that is so cool. All right, so we have our underglow installed. All right, so we figured that out. Um, last thing to do, I'm going to paint this bad. Oh, there's still bolts. Oh, wait, those are from the seat. So I think we're good. I'm going to paint this bad boy real quick, and I think we're going to just go with a, uh, a matte uh, color, So, and I want to go with black. Also, you can paint the uh, the mirrors now. You can see my mirrors are a different color. Were there mirrors before? Uh, I was assuming there was. I don't know. Maybe I, maybe there wasn't. So here's a quick question. Can you paint rims? Like, I feel like maybe some of the aftermarket ones you can paint, so we definitely need to like, paint the rims black, too. But I like this. I like this a whole lot. Well, she's ready. Uh, we're going to wait one more day before we go to the racetrack. I don't think it's going to take many attempts. We weren't that far off as far as the drag strip. Uh, the only thing that might be limiting us is the tires. But I think she's ready to go. All right. It's the next day. We're ready to go. Holy man. I'm a little nervous. Uh, let's fire this up real quick. Also, we really need to put some new bolts on here. This is a big rusty bolt in my face. Oh, it's already in reverse. Uh... It sounds different. Oh, let's hear it from the outside real quick. Uh, that exhaust is so ridiculous looking. Uh, that is cool. A yeah, nice muffler. Like, I wonder if you could just take the muffler off and just run it that way. Uh, okay. Uh, let's see. Let's go first gear. Okay. I can already tell you. It's got more pickup to it. Uh, I'm a little nervous about that. Am I going to be able to hook it up with these tires? All right. Oh. Oh. Wait, what's that sound? Oh, it might have been the tire spinning. Oh, man. So, yeah, I also read there are turbos in the game, too. So, there's uh, a lot more room for power here. Now, do you need that much power? Probably not. But do you want that much power? Yes. Uh, it sounds amazing. 
Oh my, okay, uh-oh. Yeah, she's a little bit uh, unpredictable, especially on the uh, the dirt here. Uh, let's hope there's some hookup on the street. I'll tell you what, this thing's gonna be straight up dangerous. Come on, hit the gas real hard. Uh, yeah, this feels good. I think it's got the extra speed, for sure. Uh, it's a little unpredictable, especially at high speeds. It gets really wobbly and squirrely, <laughs> but I love it. Uh, it's my favorite thing ever. This is fine. Up, up, turn, turn, turn. Okay, we got this. Okay, so in the initial testing on this, it is unpredictable. Uh, I feel like it might not have the grip to do the drag strip. Uh, so yeah, definitely tires is gonna be a thing. But you know what? We're gonna try it. We're gonna just see if we can get it to hook up enough to at least get the time that we need. But you need to go figure out what that is again. And then yeah, we'll go pull around because we're only one part away from having the race car. Which I'm like, why do we even need a race car when you can keep upgrading this thing, putting turbos on it and stuff? Like, this race car better be super, super fast. Okay, so we are looking for a 10-3. Also, I had a lot of people say, like, Komodo, why don't you do this with, like, the buggy or something? You have to do it with the car. It's the only way you can get the reward. Also, there's totally, like, a garage in here now. Wait a minute. I just now noticed this. A lot of this wasn't here last time. Look, there's a mechanical creeper in here now. Uh, an impact, there's an impact gun in here. Tire inflator, there's a tire changer. What the heck? Oh, and is this like for the lights? Uh, track lights, not available yet. So eventually they're gonna add lights to the track and you do it at night. That would be so cool. Wait, they should totally add like a place you can sleep in here or something. Like maybe it's what that building is gonna be, but like this is gonna turn into like a, a full blown like a track simulator game or something. That'd be like Cletus McFarlane. Let's buy a racetrack. Except for we're buying it in virtual form and not in real life. All right, folks, here we go. We are ready for this. Okay, let's pull up to the line here. Let's see if we can get that time with this new motor. Uh, okay. And go. Oh, come on. That second gear's still a little slow. Oh, oh, it's so unpredictable. Oh no. Folks, we're probably gonna have to do this with different tires. We're gonna have to wait either to go buy the ones at the store or see if the uh, next time the van guy's in, maybe getting those slicks because that didn't hook up at all. Like that was bad. Okay, we're gonna have to try it again. I'm gonna have to try to stay straight with the wheel and just like have zero inputs and just hope that I can get it to, to hook up here because I could, I guess, shift really, uh, short and get into third gear really quick and try to prevent the wheel spin but man i don't think it's gonna have enough speed here okay brakes hey come on give me my thing here okay there it goes come on and there's that okay come on oh oh man it's <laughs> it's unpredictable uh Okay, we're gonna have to give this one more attempt. I don't think we're doing this here today, folks. It's great because of the power, but it's almost too much. Like we're not countering the grip. Okay, one more. Oh, that was a good launch. Okay, come on. Yeah, it's that second gear. That second gear just spins it out. Folks, we're gonna have to come back. Uh, just, just shut it off. <laughs> just shut it off, get off, let it roll back. Yeah, we need to do a couple things to this. It's definitely, uh, it's not gripping. Uh, it's really just the tires. Like, that's the only thing it really needs. But, you know what? I had fun. We have the engine upgrades, and this thing is absolutely incredible. The update's incredible. Go check it out. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you guys next time. So, uh, I have a little bit of a bonus. I just realized I installed Underglow this episode, and I never actually showed it off. I was too focused on it getting out to the racetrack. So, here we go. Time to party. Uh, click the button. Is it, is it on? I guess it's on, hold on, let's go to solid lights. Uh, we can change that, change the colors. Uh, does this need to be cranked on? Uh, I think it needs to be on. Okay, this is fine. All right, we got some sick underglow. Uh, it might be a little too bright in here. Hold on, turn this off. Uh, why is it like that color? Hold on, change the light. Huh? Is it, is it even on? Oh, there it goes. Oh, holy man, this is cool. Uh, yes, you can have it to party mode. We could change the colors. Uh, I like this. Uh, we could cycle it between lights. Oh, look at the outside. Oh, yes. 
It is so bright. I love it. <laughs> 